Hello and welcome back to our video series on learning to play the Pokemon trading card game. My name is Professor Aaron and in this episode we're going to talk about the cleanup step. The cleanup step is the step that happens after one player has finished their turn but before the next player has started their turn. There's a number of things that can happen during this step and they can happen in any order. The first thing is you can check for status conditions. Now there are five different status conditions that a Pokemon can have. The first status condition is asleep. When your Pokemon is asleep, you rotate your card to the left 90 degrees, and when it's asleep, your Pokemon may not attack or retreat by itself. During the cleanup step, if your Pokemon is asleep, you're going to flip a coin. If you flip heads, then your Pokemon is going to wake up. However, if you flip tails, it will remain asleep. The second status condition is paralyzed. When your Pokemon is paralyzed, you rotate it 90 degrees to the right. Very similar to sleep, when your Pokemon is paralyzed, it may not attack or retreat. Now, during the cleanup step, if it's the end of your turn and your Pokemon is paralyzed, then it's unparalyzed. However, if it's during the cleanup step and it was the end of your opponent's turn and your Pokemon is paralyzed, it remains paralyzed until the end of your turn. The third status condition is confused. When your Pokemon is confused, you rotate it 180 degrees so it's upside down. When your Pokemon is confused, after you declare an attack, you flip a coin. If you flip heads, that attack goes through as normal. However, if you flip tails, instead of that attack succeeding, it does no damage to your opponent and instead does 20 damage to itself and your turn ends. The fourth status condition is burned. When your Pokemon is burned, you place a burn counter onto your Pokemon. And during the cleanup step, you're going to put two damage counters on that Pokemon that's been burned. And then you're going to flip a coin. If you flip heads, your Pokemon is no longer burned. However, if you flip tails, your Pokemon remains burned. The last status condition is poisoned. When your Pokemon is poisoned, you also use a status marker that says poison on it, or this poison one right here. And during the cleanup step, if your Pokemon is poisoned, you're going to put one damage counter on your Pokemon. Now, only the active Pokemon can have a status condition, so the easiest way to get rid of a status condition is to promote a new active Pokemon, either by retreating, or if you can't retreat, by using a trainer card. There also are some trainer cards or abilities that um, allow you to remove status conditions to get rid of status conditions that are there. The next thing you can do during the cleanup step is use any abilities that can be used at all times or check for any abilities that were used. The next thing that you can do is check for a knockout. So let's say my Pokemon had 160 damage and was burned. Well, I have to put two damage counters, so that's going to knock this Pokemon out. So when this Pokemon's knocked out during the between turn step, then my opponent would take a prize card and I would have to immediately promote a new active Pokemon. Now since it's a new active Pokemon, it would no longer be burned. However, this one would be knocked out. Now your Pokemon can have up to three status conditions at any given time. Your con Pokemon can either be asleep, confused, or paralyzed but it cannot be more than one of those at a time. So whatever happens lasts. So if your Pokemon is put to sleep and then it's confused, it's gonna remain confused. However, if it was confused first and then something puts it asleep, it's going to be asleep instead. So whatever effect happened last to your Pokemon that caused the status condition, that's the status condition that it has. In addition to those three, it can be burned and poisoned as well as one of the other three status conditions for up to three. Thank you for watching this video and have a great day.